The Jacksonville Jaguars aren't the only ones licking their wounds from their disappointing loss to the Tennessee Titans. Local businesses were also looking forward to an economic boost from what could have been a home playoff game this weekend. During last year's home playoff showdown against the Los Angeles Chargers, some local businesses raked in five times their regular revenue. We spoke with the local business owner and fans today about how the missed opportunities on the field translate to missed opportunities here at home. Not one glimmer of sunshine today over Everbank Stadium downtown. Instead, overcast skies blanketing a city humbled by the Jacksonville Jaguars' colossal collapse. We didn't see any signs of joy among football fans, only empty air. Peter Abrascato says he sensed overwhelming deflation. I have the luxury of being able to pop into a lot of local businesses um, on a daily basis and you know, it just, their energy would have been there and it's it's not today. You know, you can kind of feel that walking into places, a little head down. He says it's not only the football team regretting the missed opportunities. Local businesses were set to reap the economic benefits of a home playoff game and the national exposure. The infrastructure here would have gotten a massive boost, you know, from, from a win. You know, anything to help downtown Jacksonville would be amazing. I think it would have been massive for this city to, to see the Jags pull through and, you know, have people flying in and just, you know, people get a taste of what Jacksonville has to offer. During the build-up to last year's wildcard playoff game where the Jaguars faced the Los Angeles Chargers, the economic impact to the River City was estimated to be in the millions of dollars. Jaguars merchandise was in hot demand. The cash was flowing in for hotels, bars, and restaurants. Gilbert Rex Heppy, who owns D&G Deli and Grill downtown, says fan traffic generates income during all hours of the day. You have them early in the morning from 8 o'clock. Once you open the doors, you see people, crowds popping in, popping out all day long. Rex Heppy, who's downtown Deli and Grill, is close to the Hyatt Regency Hotel, says winning does make a difference. But he's hoping downtown Jacksonville's revitalization overall is a success with or without the influence of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Football season is very good. Once, Like I said, once you have a good team, you're going to have people moving downtown. Look, there is no people. There is no, there is no, there is no, there is no family. There is no people coming and spending time in downtown. Obviously, there is nothing to do here. It was a devastating, but the uh, guys did whatever they could. So in the weeks leading up to last year's home playoff game against the Chargers, you may recall the city council, the city council for Jacksonville approved about $700,000 in emergency funding in one week for the game. Now, a lot of that money went towards overtime staffing for the sheriff's office and the fire department, but it really gives you a gauge of, of how success on the field can impact the local economy. I mean, and can you imagine what the streets would have been like today in Jacksonville? I mean, all of the jerseys <laughs> being sold, and it would have been a ton of people just going crazy, like we're going to the playoffs, people booking their flights to come to Jacksonville, and now we're like, do you want to talk about the stadium sale? And, and it's <laughs> kind of like hidden. It's like, oh, I don't know if we, if we want to talk about that right now. Let's get past this hump here. Yeah. Because that hurt. You watched the game. Uh, yeah, and I wonder how much pressure is being put on the players for all of these plans that they have for the team in the future. You know, how yeah. much of that is brought up? Yeah, and I misspoke. I said stadium sale. I meant stadium being built. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's not the sale of the stadium, but the stadium being built. And that's the next conversation that the Jacksonville Jaguars uh, and the city of Jacksonville will have is, is likely building that stadium. So we'll have to see what happens. Let's just wait a week, at least. At least a week. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> oh. Well, coming